Aloha, my name is Tioni, and welcome to Hawaiian Keto Girl, where I transform local Hawaii recipes and turn them into keto friendly options. Today, I will be remaking an Ohana favorite, Korean chicken. I'm gonna spray the chicken and then we're gonna season it with um, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And you're gonna do this to taste. So this is extra fine salt, so I'm going to put just a little more because if not, then it gets under salted. Pro tip, always use way more garlic powder than you think you'll need. The trick to Korean chicken is a lot of garlic. So in regular Korean chicken, after this step, I would, uh, I would uh, put flour on it, but we're gonna skip that step and we're just gonna put this directly into the air fryer. Once it's cooked completely, we will dip it in the Korean sauce. So I won't be going into detail on how to fry your chicken in an air fryer because I am still learning and everyone has different air fryers. So just prepare the chicken the way that you would, whether it's pan fried or air fried or however you choose to do it. crushed these uh, two large cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna uh, chop them down. I'm just gonna mince them down a bit. This is fresh garlic. Like I said earlier, garlic is the trick for this Korean chicken. the same sauce that I make for the keto kalbi. You can reference that video Do you want to get like. this putting it in the pot? Yep. So we're just going to put it in here for now. I'm going to let that sit in there until I prepare the rest of the sauce and then we're going to let this heat up together. I need one fourth cup of green onion so I'm just going to eyeball it for now. This is a very easy way to prepare green onion if you have a pair of kitchen scissors. I'm going to turn on our stove, oh that's the wrong one, turn on our stove to medium high heat and we are going to cook down the garlic a little bit. So I have garlic in here and I'm gonna do two tablespoons of sesame oil. Just wanna get the flavor incorporated. I'm gonna add four tablespoons of sesame seed. can already start to smell the sesame oil and garlic. So this is a really quick sauce. We're just going to get this stirred. Alright, I can already smell the garlic so I'm going to add my one tablespoon of ginger. 
if you're watching your carbs, you're gonna, um, well, we're all watching our carbs on keto, but if you're really restricting your carbs, you're gonna wanna maybe put less ginger, because ginger is a little, one of those carbier seasonings. So be careful with that. Okay, we're gonna let that cook down a little bit. Okay, and we're also gonna do three tablespoons of water. Three tablespoons of water is equivalent to one fourth cup. Of one fourth cup, so I'm just gonna use my one fourth cup here. I'm adding three tablespoons of water there. And then I'm using Swerve Granular today for our sweetener. And we're gonna do, again, we're gonna do one fourth cup or three tablespoons. That's a little over, that's fine. So you want to let this cook until you start to smell the seasoning again. I can smell the ginger and that garlic is beginning to peek through. So now I'm just going to add the green onions. Okay, so taste it. Make sure that's the sweetness level you want. That's good for me. And your sauce is done. So, we are going to let this set here for now. Alright, please feel free to fast forward this part of the video as I will be finishing up the chicken in the next few minutes. Again, I won't be going into the details of how I cooked the chicken in the air fryer. I think all air fryers are different, so I won't be going into how long and the temperature that I used. Just go ahead and fry your chicken the way that you would, whether it is in an air fryer or pan fried. It'll work great. All right, once you are done with frying your chicken, go ahead and dip it in the sauce. Let it rest in a separate bowl. It's going to be amazing. Your family will love it. I remember my mom making this recipe all throughout my childhood. We would have it at the beach. We would have it at family picnics, potlucks. It's just an all around really great recipe. Please let me know how you like it. If you do try it out, let me know what you think. Alright guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you're looking for more Hawaii-inspired, keto-friendly recipes. As always, take care and aloha.